We are at the amazing restaurant, The American. I'm here with executive chef Debbie Gold. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's Kansas City Restaurant Week is coming up the end of January. A big week for a lot of people to enjoy oh. some great food, right? Exciting week, actually, to enjoy a lot of food and for a good cause. Too. Good cause. It's going to be relatively inexpensive, $15 to $30 uh, per meal. Where, where else can you get The American for uh, 30 bucks at dinner? Uh, not very often. Right. All right. Not so we're going to make wild mushroom and foie gras risotto today. Yes, we are. How do we do this? Well, it's a little bit of a process, so okay. I'm kind of all set up here. Sure. So um, let's see. Requirements. I got my pan on. A good hot pan. Good hot pan. We're going to put a little bit of grapeseed oil in it. We're going to put our onions in the pan, and if you can hear it, it just already started. So I'm just going to add my risotto. We let the onions saute for a few minutes. And what is risotto exactly? Risotto is a rice. It's called a borio rice. It's a very short grain rice, that come, a product of Italy. And what's different between uh, regular rice and risotto is the process of cooking it. Okay, so now I'm going to let this saute a little bit in the pan, get a little bit of toast on the rice. So now I'm, when you toast the rice, it adds flavor. And then even though we want it really nice and creamy, we don't want it clumpy. So this lets the rice kernels kind of stay individual and intact. When I make rice, I add a little bit of salt as I go. And of course, if you have an issue with salt, don't use it. But what's good about uh, adding it as you're cooking it is rice will absorb salt. So as opposed to salting afterwards and have it coating the kernel, it's going to be a part of the rice. And it just has a better flavor. So let's find my salt. Chef's secrets are never bad. No, we no. I like to hear those. And then I'm going to do this little by little. And then I'll taste it as I go. And now we're going to add a little bit of white wine. These are very traditional steps for making a risotto. I'm going to add about a cup of wine. And I'm going to add some more. I've got chicken stock here. OK, so now that my other one, let's go back to the other one. This is the process. I want to add about a cup of liquid every time and just let it go. So now this is also the tricky part about risotto is how far do you want to go? Because if you, you can it keep going, close. yeah, you can keep going and going and going, and then it's all mushy. Right. It's just a little bit. But we're almost crunchy, there. But not right. quite mushy. So now to garnish our risotto, I'm going to move this one out of the way. We're going to do some sautéed uh, wild mushrooms. This is called the lobster mushroom because of the colors, very simil similar to lobster tail, and it's a really firm and, and meaty uh, mushroom. I also have a chanterelle mushroom, which I think most people are familiar with a chanterelle mushroom. So I'm going to start out this time with a little bit of olive oil in my pan. Get my pan hot, because again, I want the uh, mushrooms to saute right as they go in, start cooking. And here's a, a little bit about sauteing mushrooms, is I put them in the pan. I don't put too many in them. They're not overcrowded. And that way, they'll just sit and cook, and they're not steaming amongst themselves. A little bit of butter. I'm going to add some foie butter as well. That's just going to melt in there. I'm going to add, I've got some fresh picked thyme. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little touch of sherry vinegar because you've got earthy, earthy, rich mushrooms are not really rich, but very earthy, and the vinegar will bring a little pop to the flavor when we eat it. All right, go now ahead. we plate it. You want me to do that? No, I can do it. You do it. How much do you want me to put? Well, you hungry or you're not hungry? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could eat this whole thing. You tell me how that. hungry you are. are. Okay. So we're going to add our mushrooms right on top. Why is it when you lay them on top, it looks perfect, and when I do it, it never looks like it comes because out Because in my mind, I'm going, okay, I need, like, Food & Wine magazine. What's it going to look like? <laughs> is it good? Mm. I'm going to steal a bite, too. 
again. The American restaurant here uh, is going to be participating in that. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Joyce, it's an honor to be okay, in don't here. Don't leave. We, oh, I won't go anywhere. <laughs> All the information will be on our website, kctv5.com.